Hey everyone, welcome today uh, to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to show you the parts for the brake and slash clutch master cylinder and how to put it all back together. Now, this one that I've got here, um, as you can see, I've actually already done this one uh, before I thought about doing these videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take this one apart uh, and put everything back together again. Alright, no worries guys, so um, just very simple on that, you have your bottle, which just unscrews from the top, oops, just dropped it, sorry, now I have put a little bit of uh, brake fluid on this one before, uh, just to uh, keep the rubber, which is a new rubber seal there, which is a large o-ring. Now, as you might be able to see, I'll just bring it in a little, and that, that's your piston. Now, the piston there is a, a um, like a C clamp that holds it in. Best way to get that one out, hopefully, and we'll do it tonight, is with a pair of pointy nose pliers. Again, get it in there, which, if you push the piston in, a bit, you'll be able to grab a hold of it, right there, sorry it's not the best because I'm having to use a phone, and if you can pull it out, it'll come out like that, and there's your piston, yeah, if you can get there, and that, and be able to push your piston in, it's, it's good, so with this one as you can still see, it will come out because I've done and cleaned this one before. Now this one here is your piston and that which right here in that area there I'll just grab the screw wire, and that is the new seal. Now that seal I can show you on another piston which I'll just grab for you. This is another one and that that you can see without the ring on it which will help seal it. Now this is an old one and that, that will, I'll show you how to put onto this one. If it's normally best if you've got a little bit of brake fluid which I don't have any left we'll get there and pull over the top of your piston. So there's your top and there's the ring. Same thing again if the ring is shrunk, it's no good. As you can see, the difference old and new. So, when you see the old one, you'll have a big gap in between, which doesn't help. It normally lets the fluid out um, as it pumps through. So, what you need to do then to take the old one off is either just grab a screwdriver and just pull it back over the top of your piston. So that one just aside for now. Like that. So inside here if it will come out for me. Grab the rag, stick on top of that, which hopefully should free your spring up. Not unfortunately, my spring suction is really good. Okay, I'll show you on another one. Over here, I've got an older spring, very same as, same as that one, which will normally have a top 
piece that will sit like that to it and slides in to your piston and in to the shaft. Alright. So that's the old one there. Now each bottle will also come with a seal and lid like that. The other part that will come into the kit, now depending on which kit, and I'm not too sure if they still make them, but if you're using your brake, a brake cylinder kit, the brake cylinder comes without these. These ones normally come in your clutch kit. I oh, know, sorry, my mistake. These ones come in your brake kit. The clutch kit will not come with the brass sleeves. Um, now, I don't know if you can see down inside the shaft here where your piston and your spring goes. If you've got a bit of scoring in there, you can clean it up. Normally you can get a cylinder tool like this uh, that can go onto an end of, end of a drill and then you just basically stick it into your shaft like that and then with the end of the drill you can just drill it in. Make sure you got a little bit of fluid inside, go up and down motion and that until smooth, your bore is smooth. Other than that, I think I've got everything covered. Other than that, basically, you got, yeah, this is the good one that I've already done. Done the um, bore on the inside with the tool. I've put the spring and the cup for the top of the spring back in. So all you do is grab your piston, which has a bit of brake fluid on it, slide it back in push it in like so to make sure if you can hear it the air that's your piston there roll back in then you grab your C clamp Oops. almost lost it grab that pair of pliers stay in the groove. So if you can, I'm having a bit of difficulties tonight with this. Try it another way. Sometimes it will work. Sorry guys. Now this one doesn't want to go in. Down, make sure in the right position, like so. Push on the piston, 
and there's your piston, your spring, and all your rubbers back into place. Then all you need to do is grab your bottle, screw your bottle on, and that. Also, don't forget when you're putting it back in your car, there's your grommet that you need. It goes to your firewall, which will sit in. You, this bit will sit into your firewall, and that, and then your shaft will go in through there to push up and down on the piston. Okay, if you guys have any questions or queries, just um, leave a message down in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer it. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Have a good night. Cheerio.